Hello, in one way. What? I've been doing that intro so long, it's just stuck in my brain. Oh, hey, everyone, and welcome uh, aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillen, along with... First mate Rakir. Uh, can you enlarge the screen a little bit? Yep. There we go. Uh, so, we were planning ah. to stream, well, normal Minecraft on Corfell's uh, server. But I went to check it, and it's it's down for some reason. I, I have notified of them of that, but I didn't get a reaction back in time for, well, for them to get if, of it being up or not. So instead, I've started up all the mod 7 through the, Cor the Curse Forge uh, mod loader slash... Uh, I don't know specifically what to call it, but it's Curse Forge. It's running... Yeah, I started it through that. And... Uh, yeah, I just made an entirely new world, and uh, we've got a bit of a fortuitous spawning point here. Because we're right next to a dungeon and a village and whatever the hell that is. So, Holy. let's take a bit of a look around. And they are field of flowers. <laughs> yeah, field of roses. Yep, we even have some sheep here, though. We can make a bed, we can steal a bed from the village here. Um, let's see, some basic explanation. All the mod 7, that's which is the mod pack that this is running. Uh, the name sort of says it. It's, well, it doesn't have literally all the mods, but it's, it, they stuffed in as many as uh, they could while keeping it running stable. And, yeah, I don't know many, uh, I don't know exactly which mods they all have. Uh, I'm certainly no expert on Minecraft or modding it. But I do know that... One of my favorites, called Tinker's Construct, is in there, and an empty chest in a village. That's a, that's a first, I think. And again. Uh, yeah, this little oh. book that we spawned with, we can change it into, well, a, an instruction book for any of these mods. I think there are some missing here, likely. But let's see. We, we can find and make those ourselves. Uh, let's see. Nice. Uh, hmm? uh, how does it work? Like, uh, do you when you get this mega uh, mod thing, uh, you select which mod you want to active from it, or they are always all active at the same time? Yeah, you can have it swap between, like I just did there. Even though, we, we, by right clicking, I can get up, bring up the selection, and then by right clicking again, I can just open it up. Huh? And the, then if I uh, crouch, hit it, apparently there's no sound. No sound. Uh, from me or the game? Uh, from uh, uh, test one two. Three four. Test one two. Is the game just being soft because la, I, la, I, can la, see the, I can see the sound bar moving? La, la, la. Wait, I don't know. Wait, is my sound bar there even? Uh, your sound well sounds good to me. Yeah. Which of it is it? Ta -la -la -la. Uh, the game. Uh, if it's if we're not getting sound, giving sound, then of course he can't hear that. Uh, let me start up this chat program because that's normally yeah, for, blocked in Vulcan. For I don't see my bar going up. I think. Hmm. As in my icon flash. Hmm. Okay, this is a part of mine colonies. There should be sound coming. I can see everything moving. Is Discord having a part at the end or something? Hmm. Wouldn't it be me, the Twitch? Yeah, Twitch has so been you, having some issues. You can hear me just fine. Yeah, though we we are talking over Discord. Hmm. And so it's not a village; it's an abandoned colony, apparently. Hmm. Uh, 
Yeah, until Noon says which of the sounds is actually not sounding, we can't, we can't know which of them. I'm not getting some, that. Uh, let's see, it, it should be recording here. Okay. Must they be themselves from her sound? Did you have it muted or something? Hmm. Or is this stream just actually missing audio? In the meantime, uh, let's go poke a bear. Wait, what? I think sure that's not a bear. Yeah, figuratively, since <laughs> that's obviously a hostile tower. Dear. Oh, <laughs> that's the case. Uh, he's watching on mobile, so he can't listen to the sound. The, we, we're not missing anything. He just can't listen to the sound at the moment. <laughs> uh, noon, you dunce. Okay. You heard us worried there for a moment, but he can't hear us anyway. <laughs> Oh dear. Um, I don't know, is it, do you have a mod here that allows you to change your character? Uh, maybe. I know that mod has been in previous versions, but I'm not sure if it's in this one. I'm... Yeah, for, I had a, I have an idea what we could do. It, uh, do a Halfling or dwarf colony built on the ground or uh, the, the hills and such. And to, uh, maybe it's easier to make a town and, yeah, kill bosses. I don't think there is a mod uh, like that this in has place. I, bosses, I know right? Uh, not sure. Likely in some of the places. But uh, the mod I was thinking more of is where you can steal the form of an uh, enemy you've killed and, well, use any abilities that they have. Not the, uh, not the fantasy mod, phrase uh, mod like that, what you're thinking of. AT. It could be still in here somewhere, but I don't know of it then. Okay, first things first. We go directly well, I guess we can this. look that up later. Yes, we know what we have to work with. So, a crafting station, and let's see. It'll just make another crafting station. Okay. The reason I made this thing instead of just a normal crafting bench is because these actually keep the items in them. Which is very useful nice. when you keep moving back and forth with things. So, for now, I just make an axe. I didn't even see it that's... on the table. Yep. Okay, I don't think we can... Well, we can dig out all of this thing, but we'd have to build up to it. So, let's for once do this. Di I don't know if there are any mods for tree capitating, as it's called. Where basically an entire tree gets dug up at once, from one spot, or breaking one block. Though it does make it a lot... breaking it a lot well, longer. But well, would I expect it really to be with this mega mod? Because I'm just, I, I guess I have a little bit unstable internet today. Okay. And what? I think those are saplings that it's dropping, but yeah, I I, I very much doubt that this <laughs> that a spruce tree would be dropping my apples. But yeah, we'll be we'll need to go find food or a way to get make not a, a way to make consistent foods pretty uh, quickly. 
because that is always a problem in yeah. Minecraft. It reminds me, I think we actually planning to add that in the in the next update or two to Minecraft. Uh, what specifically? Uh, several fruit trees. Okay. Uh, fruit trees. Not just one, but several. Okay, now we just so there'll be the dedicated down. apple trees and all that. And I think also several berries as well. Okay. Like they they oh, they took them a while before they actually started to upgrade the Minecraft, as I said before. But once they did it, people started to like it again. So again, it takes a while, it seems. Yeah. And again, probably even slow thanks to the pandemic. Yeah. The Minecraft is still pretty decent fun on its own. I well I'm I'm not very good with it and well I I think mods or just big mod packs just add a lot more to it than you know what is this? A okay, it's a mining shaft. Uh mods just add a lot more content a lot more quickly than the well the actual developers can, but there's millions of people who play their games, so there's also a very big amount of modders, so that does make sense in that way. Um, yep. Let's see. Can we just claim this somewhere? Because these are all mine colony buildings. Yeah, that's why everything is empty, because it's not an actual normal. Well, there's village. a bed at least. Yeah, we can at the very least steal that. So I think we could make a good base here. There, like, there's already a bunch of pre-built stuff. Uh, we have this dungeon entrance here. It's already getting dark. We have that tower, whatever that is from, that we can invade. Yeah, I still want to be build uh, our house uh, underground. I don't know why. Something about living in a. Uh... Something like a hobbit home or a dwarf or hill dwarf home, even. Sounds cozy. Oh, hello well, there. Actually, probably due to it, I remember how cool a underground home can be. And we're already out of uh, food or hung hunger, whatever it was called again. Oh. These are pretty new. These are loot chests. They, they spawn all randomly throughout the world for you to find, and apparently they're instants per player. Uh, so yeah, you can just get random stuff from them, you... and then you can break them afterwards. Uh, Ilian, hmm? do you just beat up a box with berries? Maybe. <laughs> Ooh, hello. <laughs> we actually have a villager here, and two of these next to each other. Okay. And yes, you get achievements for just finding a bunch of these. Let's see. Uh, barrel booty. Open your first instant per player loot barrel and collect your rewards. Uh, smells raw ventium intermingled. What? Hmm? Well, what did it say? Barrel? What now? The barrel booty, open your first instance per player loot barrel and collect your rewards. Do, do it be too small for the say booby? I thought, wait, what? Barrel booby? What? Uh, does it make sense? Let's see. Moonstone shards. Uh, barrel booty, I guess, makes sense in a town way. And yeah, apparently the loot barrels and loot chests are counted separately for those. Um, I've seen the counter go up to 50 with the achievements for it. And let's see, there's, oh, there's a slime island up there. You have a, oh, okay, I like this. I, I actually like this idea here. We, okay, we have a hillside right here. And we are next to water. Yep. We could have a waterway going inside a cave, like a hidden underground uh, harbor. Hmm. Could work. So, actually, according to the minimap, this is a pretty big lake at the very least. And hello there. 
Yeah. Connects oh. to a forest area. That okay. just gave me an idea. We can build Hill Drake Harbor. Oh, we got something there. Uh, holy. For now, uh, I hope you have the here. correct climbing gear for that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that is very clearly one of the modded biomes. <laughs> oh, my God. But okay, yeah, this is the right case where we say, holy crap, I have no other better word. But yeah, this goes to show how uh, modded Minecraft can be a lot more interesting than normal Minecraft. Since, well, there, depending on the mods that you get, you can just get so much more stuff per square digital mile. Yeah. <laughs> oh, like, I, I got a this set of pixel was a move up. Like pixel is fun, but it could be better. Yeah. Like it had the right ideas, just didn't do enough of its own thing. Even though they seem to have started it, do extremely slow. And why well, some dinosaur looks fine, other just looks derpy, and I definitely feel like the fade on the character creator itself. Like it, it's practically good use, but the the character models could be been way better, especially if you're gonna make them talk like disturbing uh, tranquility stummies, you know, with their job slipping out word like a box slot or something it just looks wrong yeah pixar is basically arc for kids though so yeah i shouldn't put too much expectations on that let's just dump all of the stuff that yeah i'm using at the moment where did we find uh, it oh pixar is basically minecraft and uh, in a chest i think right yeah pixar is arc and minecraft in one and apparently, they, oh, if you play it, you also notice that they took a lot of inspiration from mods from Ark, just to make it easier. Okay. But yeah, I would only recommend Minecraft, I mean, Pixar, if you really like Minecraft and you don't have enough space for Ark, then Pixar is a almost okay compromise. Huh. Yeah, like, you could probably make it smaller, but yeah. It, 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 okay, here's, here's it, I'm gonna pray, say, say, I was not about, I was planning to not get Fjordur, but I do know, only due to, it was only 33 gig. And it's not okay. one map, it's four maps. Okay. So you have one map that's time that you start on, and you can tell what the other maps for other bosses and loot are. And again, 33 gig. Lost Island is a massive map on 66 gig. Yeah. And Crystal Isle, about 44. I believe Bacon so, is yeah. 100 I'm... gigs. Yeah, so... Yeah, 33 gigs, easy yes. And it's basically have... Almost every creature from all the expansions. And you can learn basically everything. Like yeah. uh, hatchery and all that. So, yeah, if you, if you me, me play more orc, definitely recommend your Fjordor. Since then, it means we don't need to need less mods for we can build the other stuff. Yeah. Without needing to buy the expansions. Just make some basic weapons and tools. We will be replacing these soon enough, but still good to have them for now. And yeah, I'm just going to make a bit of a farm here, just to ensure that we have food. Uh, actually, I should make it closer to the water, or I should go find iron and make a bucket. Yeah. I could see us tearing down some of these houses later, once we got things going. We've got a mining spot. Did you hear that? Yeah, I even saw it. The spider here. They're they're not hostile during the day. 
Oh, good. It's actually a fun time Maybe because can Dan Bull released uh, his latest Minecraft mods, uh, Minecraft mob uh, rap like yesterday, and it was on the spider. Oh dear, I think I listened to some of them. Actually, yeah, I listened to some Minecraft music. Yeah, the, my first ones of Minecraft music, I, for, I think it was Kingdom or something. Yeah, but the ones I listened to more to was probably those uh, FNAF ones. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's... Most of all, good songs and very good uh, cinematic animation to them. Yeah, it's... It... It is pretty easy. No, it does look pretty easy to uh, animate with the Minecraft type models, but it's the details and such where stuff like that really shows through. Yeah, dude, this one's a bit more an mere animated bodies. Like, this isn't like just a model in Minecraft, just three the models inspired by Minecraft, more like. I'm just going to plant everything that and I found. Oh dear. Oh, what, does that village have a name? Uh, they're called a gatekeeper. Though I don't know what the hell that's supposed to mean. You can see that in the upper left. And apparently he's from the Blue Skies mod. Alright, so... Alright, so I guess he has a special job. So he wants a book for some journal. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's let's call him um... Gavin. <laughs> okay. Gary. Or Gavin Free or something. Uh... Oh, one of these um... is slowing us down as we walk over it. I I think it's a Scottish name, Gavin. I forgot what it means. Oh, and we have a traveling well, salesman uh... moving through. And also. Gavin sounds easy and nice and they just up. <laughs> okay. Like just only simple f names like Gary, Bob, Yak can get a bit how to say boring after a while. Yeah. Like they they, they sometimes feel like the name to just like you like you, you can't think of any other name. I don't know for you, like creative, they just. Uh, it's the name of Bob. Is this kind of. Uh, uh... Yeah. Going to make a bit of open space so we can put down some fences or something. For animals. Uh, we. Yeah. Axe. Anything else? Oh, we have. We, yeah, we picked up some books somewhere so we can get that blue journal for whatever it is. Okay, Gavin, where are you? Yeah, uh, somebody says maybe you probably should leave his house alone. Yeah, we're just going to be his new neighbor, whether he likes it or not. Yeah. Do, uh, you it's to. But uh, do you like the idea of uh, actually making a underground uh, uh, harp? Oh, there was more hill here. I was wondering where it was. Where's the rest of the hill? <laughs> yeah, we can do that. It'll be a. But yeah, it'll be a bit of work to dig out, and probably be a bit above what I can typically design. But we can definitely give it a try, and it'll be a lot easier yeah, to dig uh, out everything. Yep, since so we don't need to think of building walls as much. Yeah, and well, well, not, at least not to without having to worry about a mob. Oh yeah, hammers we have, but yeah, yeah as I said, when being on the ground, you usually don't need to worry about a mob jumping over your wall, since well, there's usually a ground blocking them from that to begin with. Yep. Okay, just going to start up a bit of a tree farm as well. Oh, another thing else. Seats. So, like about building, being on the ground, at least thanks to Pixar, is. Let's need to worry about making an annoying roof. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. 
there. One, two, three, four, five. I'll probably make a shovel as well, but oh well, we can get that in a bit. For now, we just need to get some basics down. And yeah, there's plenty of animals around. We just need to yeah, start gathering them up with food and yeah, putting up walls to keep them in. Uh, let's see, can we actually... No, that's a trap door. Uh, what was that? Let's see. Can we even make wood walls or just stones and cobble? Oh, oak wall, I see here. Okay, five for that. Yeah, we can we can do that. Uh, leave a bit for making an actual gate because I always keep forgetting how to make those stupid things. I think it's like this. No, nope, that's fence, so it's the other way around. There we go. That's Gavin running away. Come on here. You wanted that book. Here's your bloody book. Let's see. It's probably... What a deal! <laughs> Trade with a villager. Okay. Um, yeah, we can do it like this. Yeah, that's going to be a bit tiny at the moment, but we can always expand it. Connects nicely there. Now we just need some wheat or such to learn. Very nice. In. Actually, you we can learn in easily like this. And actually, now that I think about it, we could just have multiple pens like going this way. <clears throat> and then have a gate. Uh, you just remember. Here. Just remember the sand. Yeah, he, he says it's your shoe came from basically what you need there. <laughs> so that's our first animal. Let's see. If we had some. Oh no. Oil, we could make some you know, wheat real quick and lure all of these in a lot easier, but for now we'll just have to stick with the chickens. Yeah, I just had a flashback. To what exactly? I, I think you get it when I say this. The great fish and chicken of Angor. Um, we Sir Galahad fled from. Uh, <laughs> I mean you too. Do you get what I mean now? <laughs> Uh, for people who don't need I, I talk about Monty Python, the Holy Grail. Okay, the, the, don't choke on the potato. Yeah, we can just have the pens extend out this way and have the fences in the front like this. Yeah, I could see us moving in the animals underground later when, well, when there is something dug out. Uh, I think it'd be easier to keep them outside. Or one, because, well, True. we yes. have to dig out an entire area for them. True. So we would need to make sure they are well protected. Yeah, we can just double up the walls and that should keep them safe from anything that would want to attack them. Oh. Okay, <laughs> uh, just having your breakfast while you're watching you sleep. Ooh, these grow quick. Cat. Oh, what is that, Pepper? Uh, amaranth, which we can't outright eat, it uh, seems. Wait. Amaranth? I don't know what that is. I, I think I <laughs> heard it. It looks like a beast. I've heard that thrown around a lot. But, oh, no. 
Wait, uh, there's a, I think there's a one called Amaran. And, but it, does it have an E at the end? Uh, no. All right, so maybe, maybe Amarante is not a flower? An almond tree? I, I'm pretty sure almonds don't grow on trees we're not supposed to or something. Either way, we've got more saplings. And yeah, it seems that this, the, the music is being a bit slow with this game now as well, or with this mod pack, since technically this is still the same game, even if there's so much more added to it. Uh, I, one of the mods I that think I that's common of, for everyone. Huh? What? Uh, one of the mods that I know of that was also in all the mods is a food mod. Uh, there are the almonds. Like It says, not yet eaten, what does it taste like? From, from the Croptopia mod. Basically, uh, as long as you keep eating new things, you uh, well, if you eat a certain number of different things, you get extra health. So I like the that. almonds and the oranges we have, well, we also really have them sampled. Uh, what uh, are uh, you doing? Okay. There? Oh, be safe, noon. See ya. And well, thanks okay. for watching it. Yeah, I definitely. <laughs> right, I can definitely say this. This is definitely will be the Hildrake uh, port or Hildrake town, something. There's a lot of hills. Yeah. Uh, we could put down a colony here, but those hills will be a problem with that unless we terraform a big part. Uh, for you mostly want. I speak from experience. You want a flat-ish area, and uh, you're not for the petting zoo. Well, you could, <laughs> you could make this one, but uh, yeah, <laughs> please leave. <laughs> uh, oh dear! But yeah, these are in normal it, Minecraft as well, I think. Some areas I could see as terraform due to it's not as bumpy, but. Yeah, the one behind the merchant is not terraformable, for that's way too bumpy. If anything, that would be just making the hill bigger. Uh, let's see. Sword. Oh no. Have, have you been naughty, Hillian? No. Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> Uh, go into your bedroom. What? Look You're down. Already white. No, no, I meant about it. Someone left your coal near your bed. <laughs> well, in a survival situation, <laughs> you want coal. <laughs> True. Okay. Let's dig this out, make a bit more room in here. And then we're going to go look for something to fight and well, get some more equipment. Because you can quite easily get stuff in this uh, in this mod pack. Um, yeah, I think for now we can just leave this as a little hovel. Put up a door. Probably want to move this inside. And yeah, we can start. Uh -huh. mm, we shouldn't start too early on mostly cosmetic stuff. Uh -huh. For now, we just want to get ourselves situated. Make a furnace, for example. Uh -huh. And you can e you can see it actively update as you put stuff on it. Uh -huh. Yeah, that, that, I think I've seen it before and I kind of like it. Um, Hello, Gavin. Let's see. Just, uh, shovel. Now we have a full set. And let me think. Take this bit out here for a moment and then just make some more chests. There. And one thing I found out that is useful is that you can still open chests up if there is a chest above it. If there is a block above it, though, it is blocked off from being opened. 
So let's just grab some right. food, drop off some stuff that we can't use at the moment. Right. Be right back. Just gonna put some food into the machine. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll keep those for the moment. Actually, I, I said I was going to make a door, so I'm going to make a bloody door. There we go. Spruce door. There we go. Let's plant these trees before we go. But, yeah, then we can get go. Well, we can get started looking for treasure. Plant these randomly here for a bit. Okay. Yeah, there's the cave here. We can take a it's, look. Seriously, the mu music starts to play when I walk away. <laughs> Journal entries found. I thought I was going to open up something. Okay. Uh, oh, that goes quite deep, quite quickly. Uh, what the... What is... Is those metal and gems? Let's take a look at what these are. Uh, if we get close enough. Yeah, the, we have some cyan, and we saw something white. These are inert crystals, I believe. If I recognize the, the design well enough. We have silver ore, and we have iron ore. Let's go grab the iron since, well, we don't have any at the moment. Alright, that I think I saw Blackstone near you. Yeah, Let's just fill you in. I saw more iron there. Yep. Uh, and all right, he blocks away the iron. All right. Yeah, so we don't have to be drowning the entire time. Okay. Oh, true. True. There we go. There's plenty of water around, and we can always make more. Okay. Oh, quite a good amount. I thought it was going to be like only one block or something, and hello there. It it really is just one block, Hilia. It really is, and hello? Crimsonite. Or crimsonite. What is that? I don't know. I don't know exactly what this is for. Part of me thinks that it's some sort of uh, modded over Terraria stuff or something. And, oh, it's tin ore. Uh... Tin ore, all right. Did we seriously make a what? There we go. Let's turn up the brightness. I thought the game just broke that for a moment when you did that. Uh, silver ore, we can't mine that. What is this here? Viridium, okay. Uh, we got we got that earlier from a chest. Sulfur ore. Yeah, there's probably a few chemistry mods in here as well. And let's see, what is this? Deep Slate. Uh, how deep are we already then? We can't be deep enough for Deep Slate already. Uh, okay, this is a lot more information. Okay, that's using up a hell of a lot of memory. With 4K max? 4 gigabytes max? I'm pretty sure I set it to have... Uh, to be allowed to use 10 gigabytes of memory. Hmm, I'll, I'll have to look into that. For now, though, it seems we've broke... Well, we've not broken, we've moved into a deep slate biome. Okay, there's some cop... It does cop look pretty! Let's just grab as much iron as we can... <coughs> Pardon? Uh, once we get into a bit of a more safer space, I'm going to take a quick drink. This looks like a place that you could almost build in. Though I suspect Deep Slate is a pain to dig through. 
Uh, with just normal pickaxes, yeah. But we could dig towards this place. Where actually, we could probably turn the entire entrance of this into, well, an entrance to our underground harbor. That'd be nice. Yeah, it'd uh, be wait, a lot easier than Does boats work on a waterfall? Uh, yeah, you, you can actually use them as water elevators, I believe. Need to be nice! Because I saw that skeleton nearby. And this should be enough. Oh, that's osmium. Okay, we can't mine that yet. But we will be after we've smelted all of this. But yeah, hammers are going to make digging out stuff so much incredibly freaking easy compared to just single target uh, pickaxes. Uh, oh! I'm dumb. Mm -hmm. I just realized that bedrock is the one you can't mine through. Yeah. <laughs> so apparently that's Warden Creature that they're going to add in the next big update for original Minecraft. 1.20 or something. Uh, that thing is supposed Wait, to be able to already... pick up. It's... Or... Either it's Either it's been released or it's for the next one. I've done no. I've done keep it too much of an eye on the uh, vanilla Minecraft. Hmm. Yeah, for the they're about to release a new mob that's called Ally or Alley, something like that. A friendly fairy that looks like the ones that attacks you that the pillager sends at you. Okay, that I hadn't heard of. Okay. I want to read re heard of some week ago by accident. There you go. And then we throw in. And I think it was voted in. I still find it kind of stupid that they just don't use any of the other mobs, anyways. Because quite a lot of time goes into those. And uh, why are you. Devin, what do you have against. <laughs> But whatever he has against them, we're going to we're going to benefit from it because we now have a leash. So we can just we don't need food anymore to lure the animals. We can just drag them along. And what is this? Uh, Blue skies population adventure guide uh, the adventurer's guides by the gatekeeper. This journal is written to assistant newcomers in their journeys uh, across the ever bright and ever dawn worlds. If something has a uh, unique functionality, chances are I've written about it in this book. You <clears throat> you might find new journal entries as you progress, so remember to check back periodically. I've marked each section with a bookmark on the side of the book. Okay, we have a, a search function, always nice. Everbright portal. The entrance to the Everbright dimension, the portal is made from turquoise you know, stone brick. And can be lit with a zeal lighter. It seems the Everbright is constantly day, but it's somehow always brittle and cold. The world is home to lots of uh, large, thick-coated fauna. Plenty of snow and spirit-like enemies can be found here. During the snow, uh, more enemies like to show their faces, as they much prefer the colder weather. Okay. And the Everdawn... Uh, Everdon Dimension created with lunar stone bricks and lit with a zeal lighter. The world is always hot and humid, but the time is always at sunrise. Insects thrive here, especially during the rain when more of them leave their homes. The insects have grown to scary sizes, some being half my size. The rain uh, seems less heavy here, usually only a light drizzle. The fauna here seems to be mostly reptilian, with few exceptions. And what were you doing over here, Gavin? Wait, did he kill the... Traveler, no, he did not. But he did break, manage to break <laughs> the leash on the other llama. Okay, so yeah, but, we can uh, go find. Why those did he attack? Did, did uh, he accidentally shoot the llama when trying to kill the zombie, or what? Yeah, that that is my guess. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Let's make it five by five for each of these, just for well, convenience sake. And well, we have just enough for that if we go make a new gate. And hello. Okay. 
That was fast. You, you have the, you have green fingers. Uh, I think uh, it, there might be a mod in somewhere that speeds up have growth of uh, trees like that. Let's see anything else that we can harvest here. I mean, if you had green fingers, Ilian. Yeah, no, me personally, not. No, not at all. I, I sort of do. Like, I, uh, one time with my grandparents, I helped plant some flowers. Then we went to pay, uh, get pizza. And when we came back, the flowers were very upright and alive. Okay. That's and that confused me and my grandpa. For the world, a little bit, uh, you know... Uh, possibly, they were a bit down and like they need nourishment, but we did not expect it to, to go that quick just by just driving to get a pizza to be enough for them to yeah, straighten up and look more alive. I might as well make the other one or another gate as well. Oh, spruce, spruce gates, okay. Uh, I should probably kill the spider before it turns to nightfall. Oh. Wait, what? Or before the kill is the... They're getting stung by something. I mean, it's by the Amarant. Uh... Could be they were on top of that. Now where did I did I leave the There they are. I was looking completely over them. One, two, three, four, five, six. And well there we go, a free llama. Okay. Oh dear. Be tuned. And by now, the iron should be done smelting, I hope. We can make some tools and a sword from that. Space these out a bit. Don't really care for it. <clears throat> Correct distance at the moment, and then we can go grab our farm animals since they're close here, anyways. <clears throat> um, we having bacon tonight. I mean, you... as as with the lid, it would be easier to move them down to on the ground if need to be. True. Okay, pig. I saw some cows around here. We could probably start breeding the chickens already since we have seeds. Oh, hello, what's uh, sweet potato? Okay. Yeah. I personally really like sweet potato. I think I've already what, said. What do you like call me? Potatoes. Nope, sweet potato. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you. Oh, you admit to calling me sweet potato? All right. <laughs> okay. Tricked him good. Drag multiple of you. Yes, yeah. I can. And also, yeah, I don't like sweet potatoes. I, I think I actually almost hate sweet potatoes. Okay. Like my colleagues you, you can't, as well. You can't. Yeah, you can't make smashed potatoes out of them or anything like that. And yes, uh, it, I'm not sure if you even can fry them. Uh, well, we we've made. Uh, French fries from them before, and we thrilled them. Yeah. Okay. Okay. French fry version I might like more. Just yeah, just boiled ones I can't stand and eat. Yes, they are so tough and just. Ugh. Let's grab a few more. And hello, what's that? There's something on the ground here. Actually, I don't... Oh, it's a bee. No, that's a... It's a... What are you? 
the heck Wait. A star bundle? Those are... Are those ears? Uh, wait. It's a squirrel? It, it looks like a horned squirrel. Uh, horned? You call that horns? And, uh, what the... What the hell was that? Uh, I, yeah, this looks like a magic tree, so I'm digging this fucker up. It's probably for something. All right, let's see. Nouveau. Nouveau. And even if this isn't useful at the moment, we can probably make some good wood out of that. Good planks. Hopefully. Okay. Uh, let's use this as a bit of a vantage point. Okay, not the best spots for building a colony, perhaps. Since those can get very big. Uh, well, well, behind you... But I, I think the abandoned colony is easier to flatten out. Yeah. Yep. These little gremlin things. Drag me. Okay. Mm. Almost. <laughs> now, if I recall correctly, there was smoke coming from somewhere around here, and I definitely saw smoke from there. This one should be closer. Oh, hello. A broken portal. And That's <laughs> gonna nice it. Ooh. And yeah. This is some of the stuff that you can find in these boxes, which can be very useful. Let's see, obsidian, golden apple, uh, golden armor. Let's see. He has a chance to cast a scrap spell. Oh. Okay. Well, I guess they would work for us to use for now. Weighted minigun ammo? Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, what? We're taking that. I'm putting that on. Okay. Quick reflexes. Oh. <laughs> was that what the smoke was coming from or not? I'm sure. I, I, th I thought this. I I thought this was a chimney or something, from the way it looked like that. So now let's head back, sleep through the night, use our iron to make some stuff, and yeah. Where to start then? We could you build a boat, go looking around. Maybe? Do, what, what do you need to make a hammer? Uh, for that, we need a bunch of clay because we need to make a fern. Uh, not, not a furnace, but a smeltery, I believe. If the mine oh. is still the same. Let's see. Uh. Here they are. Hammerheads. They are made in the park. No, that's that was flint. I'm looking for something that needs to be smolten. There we go. Yeah, we need to make seared stuff. What did you get hurt on? Either way, we harvest what we can. <clears throat> It seems you have a full inventory. Yes, yeah, just going to dump that all off in the chests. Let's not drop the book off. Actually, go. We eaten enough different stuff, so we've got those extra hearts now. Yeah, I'll Congrats! Uh, I gotta check on my food. 25. Mm. I'll take that freaking drink now that I should have done like 15 minutes ago. <clears throat> okay. Here we go. Swords. Pickaxe. 
Um, isn't it I'm big? I, if that, if that's supposed to, be, yeah, I'm, I don't get that pun. <laughs> Just put it like that. Replace all of these. And let's see. Should we make some armor? Yeah, let's make some armor. It may be a bit wasteful to make it already now, since we have only a small amount. But still. Put the iron back. Actually, I'll just stick it up here, where it'll be easier to find. And put all of that back. Actually, let's use the last bit to make a shovel. And there we go. Collect all of this up. Let's see, hemp seeds. I, I don't have... Any I don't know what those sea hemp is going to be useful for, but I presume it's going to be useful. Uh, Demon's dream seeds. Okay, I'm planting you in the corner. More amaranth. Sadi roots. Can't plant it, can't eat it. Corn seeds. I should probably start... Yeah, at some point I should probably make specific fields for each of these things, just to keep it apart easily. But for now, let's not. Let's close there as well. I'll bring the leads along in case we find any animals we want. And um, let's go check out this tower, what the hell it is. Sheep. Actually, the easiest way to probably get some stuff, yeah, some equipment, is going down into the dungeon. For that, we'll need some more light <laughs> sources, I think. And welcome back. Thank you, thank you. Where is an entrance to this thing? Nope. You again? Oh, hey, 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 friends. Breaking all of those things isn't too good a thing in combat. Okay. And there's some oranges, pee on all. Oh, those are oranges. Yeah, Is there actually an entrance to this thing, or is it supposed to be something you dig into? Oh, oh there! Uh, oh, was that blocked? Here are skeletons chasing. Not running at you. How strong! Yeah, they're wearing the chainmail armor. Okay, so we can so. kill them. Well, hello, what the hell sort of witch hazel? Okay. We're definitely grabbing some of that on the way back. Something this maybe can make a very awesome arcane forge again. <laughs> More yeah. than just arcane. Okay. We can make an arcane forge, an alchemy lab, you name it. I do wonder, would there be more things for us to tame, even? And a lot of mods also add animals. Uh, but there you are. And some bones. Okay, we could use those to make bone meal, but for now, let's just dig in. Quite literally. The feeling this was supposed to spawn a bit lower to the ground. Well, free building material. Hola! Hola! 
Hola, Dutch. Hola, Dutch. What? Um, th th that was a bit of fail. Yep. I, I was doing a bit of like a whole espanol. Just means a bit Dutch instead and realized that that, that that came out a bit wrong. It, I don't even know what noted. Dutch is in Spanish even. You died pretty easily. Oh. Oh, that's a bunch. We don't have keep inventory have to on. Come retreat. So... <laughs> yeah. Yep. Let's see. Shot by a skeleton. Okay. <clears throat> well, that shows off another mod. Uh, what the? What's the key? It's a uh, our grave key. And the hell is? Oh, it's it, for a moment I thought, what, are those fucking fairies? But no, it's a line that draws us towards our graves. Okay, that I like. That, that's better than just a light that shoots up to the sky. Thank you. And we have all of our stuff back. Yeah, we probably want to put some security door here. Trying to block it in, but yeah, we're going to need some better equipment to take Doom, that thing out. I think Axe Doom do more damage, but more of you are doing hit and run. Like it's, right. it's faster than the sword, but it hits harder than the sword. Mm, not sure on that. No. This is what I've been hearing from some Minecrafters, but most people just use the sword. We're out of oranges. So I guess so it can also apples. depend on the mob. <laughs> and if I remember correctly, the the food buffs disappear when you die. So you'll have to go get you'll have to go snack on everything again. Oh. Now though, let's take a peek down here. Actually, yeah, we should bring torches for that. So let's just grab a few. Hey, wait, wait. Should you? Dump the things at home first. You're uh, close to home after all, so I might as well put this uh, stuff in there. Just to, you know, more space for loot. Yeah, but we still have a decent amount of inventory slots open, and yeah, we can just be set an outpost down at the bottom of this tower. Because the, the dungeons that spawn underneath these are... Uh, how to describe it? Yeah, basically you have the entry point that lowers, lowers down into the next one level, and then you have to find the entry, you know, the way down to the next level somewhere downstairs. Also, I'm turning on this so I can see where monsters can't or can't spawn, just to be certain that you know, certain certain that nothing is going to spawn behind me and stab me in the ass. Okay. <laughs> Let's see, there's a spawner over there. There's another over there. Hello! Anyone home? Oh, hello. And, uh, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think we can go I back already. I told you so! <laughs> Well, now we have a little outpost down there. Yep. Let's see. Uh, there was something that I did. I, I set up a different save of this on my computer as well, where I've played a little bit longer. Not, like, really long, just a bit longer. And the heck is, is that one of those weird things? All of the roses make a bit hard to identify things. Turn this back off. Uh, what was I going to say now? <laughs> I've forgotten already. Yeah, 
Oh, now I remember. Uh, there's one mod in this in this pack called uh, for Waystones, I believe, or something like that. It's, it's basically teleport uh, points that you can either make or find and break. And that rhymed. <laughs> And one thing I did was, well, to steal one of those waypoints somewhere and put them down in a dungeon. That way I could easily go back and forth between storage and the dungeon itself. Let's see. We want some st Actually, for the moment, I think it might be best if we go make a boat and explore a bit. So we can try and find one of those waystones because they spawn at villages and such. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. I've, I think I've seen those in several of Minecraft videos. Well, I think it's always useful. All right. Yeah, and Ink well, is a well. good cat. Always useful cat. That as well. And plus, going around like this is going to spawn in more stuff. Cobweb entanglement, what? Discover a spider cave, what? Oh, that's this, probably. Okay. Well, guess we know where we get to silk. And spider digger legs, yum. What? Uh, what are you doing? Uh, doing the world a favor. <laughs> there. Yeah, we, okay. we, we can use it when needed, but at least good to keep them trapped in there yes definitely okay but also i think you ready for a new title we just did a moment ago what, sealer of spiders but that too i was thinking of uh alien squid slayer okay uh... what it didn't say that that's in Correct. It's not. It's not incorrect, but it's not much of a title, <laughs> unless it's a kraken or something. Uh, yeah, I was thinking okay. of kraken. They realized it wasn't really a bit small for a kraken. Wait, is that clay? Yep. And the oh, reason that I'm gathering is perfect. because we need that for the tinker for, to make hammers. Yeah, with hammers, it's gonna be fun. And, um, I see fire. Uh, forgot the lyrics, probably for the best. <laughs> that song is still playing on the radios here every now and then. Okay, that that song is actually good and worth it to be played uh, uh, on the radio. Unlike some other songs, like Let It Go. Which they annoyingly will not let go. Wait, are they still playing it? Uh, not that I've heard, but yeah, it's the whole joke with it that the neighbor, the radios and such would not let the freaking song go. Yeah, like, I think I thought it was okay at the first time, but almost here every damn week, of several times during work. Especially during headaches due to the bright light on the uh, ceiling. Yeah. Yeah, I... I think you can see where, where this is going, where my grudge towards it grow. Yeah. Just, just playing anything for too long is going to make it annoying as all hell, no matter how much you liked it originally or not. It's the same with food. It's the reason why... Uh, you don't go out every single freaking day. Mm, this should be plenty of yeah food for what we need. What? 
But I can't, I can't barely wait to see what kind of arcane forge we will make this time for. The first one we made is a damn good inspiration source. Yeah, and I think I'm we could replicate it just... Hmm? Yeah, I'm pretty happy with how that thing ended up. Oh yeah, and this is what I was going to. We can make a 2.0 version of it, like a bigger version. But based on that one. Yeah. And this looks to be... This could be a dead end if it just around a bend. No, no, it's not. Very clearly it's not a dead end. And I could have looked at the minimap for that as well. But let's just grab these as well. Because pumpkins are will be useful for making iron golems and such. A pair of... Pumpkin snake street. Pumpkin twins. I'm not gonna finish the center. That's. Oh, you you gonna to go there, eh? Keep the dirty yolks going, eh? Let's see. Just a check. Yeah, that's a big C uh, over this. What was wait. that? Hold on, go back there and look at the fellow you just walked past. He had a face! But it's like a, a mini Ewok. Is it a moose noom? Yeah, it's, it's called a Drigme. At least I presume that's how it's pronounced. And I what have we here? It'd be fun if we had them... Uh, some of those living in the village and what the underwater um, <laughs> loading. I'm more interested in this though. Bird. Yep. What was that? I think yeah. I heard a bird. Try be careful now. Well, I guess this place couldn't. <laughs> Can handle being a little bit more flooded. Uh, but yeah, let's grab some. <clears throat> let's grab some glowstone from this place and then be gone. Glowstone is always useful. Uh, yeah, I've mod. <laughs> This, this is another reason why mods can be so fun, since you can just find random stuff like this. There's some blackstone. Yeah. I think this is the case of where mods are done right. Like, I like mods, but there have been games I've seen mods almost... Almost ruin ga a game, or just... I don't get why add that to um, as, as a mod to begin with, but here... Yeah, here, here is support mods. For well, here I can see a lot of multi potential for fun. Okay, let's go find our boat again. Bird. Let's see, I'm not really sure what I was expecting to find. Uh, let's go a little bit more down this way. Then the, according to the map, it turns back around. And Make our own little path. <laughs> Am I stuck on something? Or... No, it, it needs to be and too wide. This reminds me what he uh, did in uh, Central Americas when they dug a huge river through the continent. <laughs> okay, what's tall fairy grass? Okay. A the load. Uh, some broken, <clears throat> broken bridge. And hello there. That's definitely not <laughs> natural. And what is that over there? Luscious surroundings. In an area with enough aura to cause positive imbalance effects. Okay. Hmm. I. Guess we'll have to mark this place Positive out then. In there. 
Uh, really? That's really? The best I have at the moment. You, you, you tried to make a dirt golem? No, I tried. To, I made a marker. Welcome to Pumpkinhead. Oh wait, that's a horror movie. Yeah, we're rather horror movies. And what I've heard beyond the first, not really that good. Right, let's see. This yeah, do I, some I see reuse it. I I'm more of a like the creature design. Okay, what have we? Hello. Okay, it's just another one of these tower dungeon towers. Okay. Nothing to find on top. And there's no need for us to go down. Oh, loading. So, what is this over here? Is it another abandoned village or something? I'm not seeing any markers on the Looks mini like it. or friendly stuff. So, yeah, this is abandoned. Yep, it's another abandoned mine colony. Yep, mine colony. Okay. Well, it means at least a free town or at least free materials. And what is that there? That's not a death beacon. How are we in food? We are out of food. Good question. Personally, you probably couldn't buy... You couldn't pay me enough to eat squids in real life. <laughs> but in the game, uh, I'll stomach it. Bumblebee nest? I think okay. I would try it, actually. Right. There's one squid I would try. And I forgot what it's called. It's a... I think it's a Thai dish, dish but they have marinated squid tentacles in uh, chili pepper marinade uh, of some kind. Okay, Ooh, hello. Bye-bye. Uh, and it, it actually looked tasty. It's a rare case, but the actual squid tentacle looked tasty. It was basically grilled uh, in it. Yeah, from so it got a little bit more crispy and all that. Hmm? From what I've heard with squids, it doesn't really have much taste of its own. And it's more dependent on what you cook it with or in. Nope. Here comes All right, that probably explains why it uh, looks so tasty due to uh, the chili pepper marinade on it. Or paste. Like it's been painted with the sort of a chili pepper thing. What and yeah, yeah, I saw it on Give Me of a Morning, and they, they were surprised that they liked it. They loved it even. Okay, what are you? Either way, it's an advantage point for us. We probably should have brought a bed along. Probably. And is that the sheep symbol or what is that symbol on it? Or is it supposed to be a taco? I'm guessing that's some sort of table, but what that is, I don't know. Anyway, let's put this back. And let's see, it's evil craft. Okay. We might find out more about that later. You are determined for killing your uh, for me killing your kids. <laughs> for now that's the other one with the gold. And that he is oh dear. Let's just deal with these two and then get down and run back for the boat. Wait, I recognize that zombie. It's so good or not? 
So that's what happened to him. Well, earn two levels. Knowledge no more sun gold unlocked. Earned your first knowledge point, and you kill ten on the uh, creature. Uh, Helion, um, what? Did you see what just happened? Yeah, the the bird ate rotten meat. Ew! Ew! His helmet looks a bit different. It's probably but I have a bit of a face guard. Yeah, I think I need. I think you need carrots. I say that immediately. Carrots to tame horses, but let's give it a. Yeah, let's give it a shot since they literally dropped those right in front of us. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. I think even in vanilla Minecraft, different horses have different benefits, like some are faster than others. True, but I don't think they actually show those anywhere. Or not you can't see those stats anywhere specific unless you go into the data or something. Yeah, I, I, I thought it was if it depends on breed or not, if it's just random or something like that. Should give up and let us ride it eventually. And we're lucky that the zombies didn't come chasing after us. Or that this thing isn't taking off right into the mid. There we go. Uh, Best friends forever. Now can I... No, I need a saddle to control you, don't I? Hmm. We could try bringing them all the way back, but it would be easier if we had a saddle to just ride them. Hello, what are you doing out at night? Bathing contest? Okay, that. Timing, just as you hit something there or something fell, the game froze up for a sec. Okay. Uh, let's get our boat, head back. And yeah, I was hoping to. F oh, now I know what I was. I was looking for a village so we could. St what the heck just hit us what there. What the heck was that? Oh, it's one of those wolf and. I believe that's what they're called. Uh, yeah, there's different types of these. <clears throat> Basically, a sort of offbeat uh, or off, <clears throat> off-brand uh, werewolves. Some of them summon wolves to attack you. Others just, yeah, go at you themselves. Well, they they all come at you, but some are just stronger on their own or not. And I'll be taking this. Okay. Tomato seeds. Okay. I'll take that instead of flint. Crops of the wild. Crops of the wild. Uh, repeating after me, eh? Uh, Open the legs. Let's see. Oh, Swarsberry. That's okay. That's what stings. Then I'm guessing. Did we find any of these? I think so. You had a, a lot of them. Let's throw out that. Source berries. Okay. We can grow these ourselves then. Maple log. Okay, let's head back before we actually start dying out here. The, the bad timing for stuttering. <laughs> With a creeper right behind us. Okay, where is this going to lead? It should 
lead to the general direction back to our base or our little hut more like <clears throat> and i'm guessing that is the smoke that we saw earlier so yeah small expedition out got them some good stuff we now also know that there's horses over here it would be easier to bring them back from Okay, now we I think those away. are the foster horses as well. And you sunk the ship. Uh, let's see, what can we dump? We we can always get more wood somewhere. Okay. Let's have a look here and then we head back. <laughs> A good place what find a small prairie house okay oh, more loot barrels yep supply ship okay that sounds big so let's take one let's see yeah, we have to return for that later yeah, for now we just head back home Drop all of that off, deal with our crops, and uh, let's see what else to do then. The house is somewhere well, we over could, there. We could start making the smelter thing. Uh, yeah, we'll need. Yeah, uh, we need the. Yeah. <clears throat> we'll need to go get sand and gravel for that as well. Since so that they had stuff. that on the beach, actually. Yeah, clay is more annoying to get. So that was what I was looking for mostly. Gravel is also common enough, generally. Here we go. And the music takes a nice point to pick up with <laughs> as we approach. Okay. No, well, we didn't die, so that went well. Yeah. Uh, let me take a moment here. The video settings, some full screen, threaded, smooth lighting, maximum simulation distance. Uh, something to lower. I noticed. The... Uh, let's turn those off. Uh, yeah, let's turn those to fast as well. I noticed that I don't. I think not all of the stuttering is coming from you know, stuff loading in. It's just that it takes a lot to run all of this stuff. Yeah, we already need to expand uh, this uh, hovel. Uh, supply ship. Do we have a book about mine colonies in here? It's Tinkers, the One Probe, Roots Classic, Advanced Peripherals, Immersive Engineering, Earth Tool, Thermal, Tania, Silent Gear, Elemental Craft, Aldemaldium, Integrated Dynamics, Cryptopia, Cooking for Blockheads, Security Craft, that's a new one, Evil Craft. I think I've read her of this one before, but I've never looked into it. Engineer's Decor, Little Logistics, Apotheosis, Nature's Aura. That's probably from that spot that we marked with the pumpkin. Metacraft, Repressurized, Occultism, that's new. Spice of Life, Carrots Edition, Productive Bees, Modular Routers, Motor Biomes, Arsenal. Hmm. Is the cold? No book on mine colonies then, or at least not in this one. Let's mine colonies. Spear, bakery. There should be something to get started with this. Mission scepter, no. Ancient tome, no. Hmm. 
I, I played with uh, Mind Colonies quite a while in Automod 6, but I don't remember how to start with it. I think we just need to build a town center or something from this Let's see, wait, town hall. Wait, wait. Does it have to be on surface and do or really work on the ground? Uh, it could work on the ground, but it would need it would require a lot of stuff to be dug out. Uh, which would and luckily enough, we have a down. we had a do we had a quite a large cave nearby. True. So it could be more of a simple. Making su smooth surfacing to also perhaps a more. It's <laughs> a bit more practical way to get down as well. Yeah, we can install the stairs at some point, but not now. Probably off stream as well as ends. Yeah. Well, we had, we have, we had like two episodes of uh, stair making. The nice stairs that never really got finished, but still nice stairs. True. Hmm. Let's not go into the lava. We probably should, uh, you know, block it off. Yeah, but at the moment we're just looking around and. Hmm. Ah, here it is. Yeah, uh, uh, I think you see what I mean. There is something. Uh, uh, oh. It uh, would at sorry, least be interesting. It would at least be interesting to build a colony down here. It'll be a quite uneven with all of this, and at some point we would likely have to start digging into the walls. And oh, hello there. Uh, that's one of these things. Walden, not Wolfen. Wolfen is uh, a species in World of Warcraft. Yeah, these, those basses are fast. Okay, a little campsite. But yeah, we, we could build. We could build a colony down in the caves. We would have to light everything up really well to avoid stuff spawning in the middle of town. Since, yeah, creatures yeah. can attack villagers and such. Yeah, in no, general, it looks like we can also work. make guards. Say who? You, you, we can make guards, right? Yeah. Well, as we're not alone in defending the village. It'll just depend on how well we? they be right. able to guard against modded creatures and such. Because a lot of, yeah, them, a lot of guards died. Oh dear. But yeah, here we can easily smooth it out and reuse the thing we smooth it out with as build materials for building all the houses. Yeah. And we can also make stairs for each uh, tier or what you would call it. Yeah, I'll just have to look up a bit how the area effect of it works again, I think. <clears throat> I'm not sure how you can expand territory, but I don't remember if that is if you can select in which you, way that can go or if it's just general radius. If it's a general radius, then we'll have to uh, start off deeper into the cave. And maybe it'll be a good idea to make two villages, one up top here for easy access and one downstairs. Yeah, that would make sense. Let's see. Especially if we go into a special form like uh, surface farming, on ground farming and all that. So that. I guess... Um, yeah, it, you can build it. Oh, when you build stuff, it's a preview. Uh, please tell me this one works. 
Uh, this is a supply ship. Uh, this is what we... Uh, now remember, you have to start from a supply ship or a supply camp. And we can change around how it looks. A Asian supply ship. The, let's not. <laughs> let's look a bit complicated than what we can build at the moment. A birch one. A, what is this? A Caled Caledonia supply ship? An airship? What the? Okay. And Interesting. The, okay, the graphics aren't really liking the overlapping water blocks. Yep. An even bigger one. Then that's not. Dark Oak supply ship. Fortress supply ship. That's a that's a raft. Incan supply ship. Yeah, a lot of these are more quite complicated. Jungle. Lost City. Medieval Bird Supply Ship. I think it might be better to just start off. Actually, no. I think. Hmm. That looks like a bikey ship almost. I mean. Uh, wait, what was this one? This one's Medieval Bird Supply. This is Medieval Dark Oak. And there might be a Viking one among these here. Medieval oak, medieval spruce. Actually, I can just hold this up. Mesa supply ship, Nordic supply ship. A bit crude, but. Oh dear. Sand sandstone supply ship, really? A space war what? supply ship. <laughs> okay, I don't know the space ship made of wood. <laughs> True dwarf and supply ship <laughs> with water wheels. And Actually, everything. yeah, I, I, I like it. I love it, actually. And we be getting a lot of stone from the mines. So if I recall correctly, yeah, it should be possible. Supply ships and supply camps are hmm? actually just uh, placed down or something. Like if we do this. Must place in a fitting ocean or rain. Not all blocks meet the requirements. Okay. Not a, oh, it needs to be further out. Or we need to start digging this out. Hmm. Well, I guess we need to dig uh, that tiny island out, perhaps then. Or closer here. But we did say we were to make a harbor here, so... Let's dig all of this out then, and we can put it down. <clears throat> oh, we needed gravel anyways. It sort of tells me you would love to sail on a dwarven ship. Uh, they'd be this is a than huge sails. metal one. Yeah, bit steam power, wheels and all that, and yeah, mini cannons. It looked a bit weird that it was made of stone, but uh, I guess it's cheaper than uh, to build a ship from an entire metal in this game. Yeah. So, you, you did say it was to be dropped down, that you didn't make it yourself? Now, I think supplies, ships, and camps, or at least the first one that you build, are, well, just plonked down as a, a complete set or something like that. I don't remember if that is the case, or if that is really the case, but uh, I think I remember it being like that. Right. And, yeah, again, the wolf ship kind of makes sense to be making... Village on the surface and underground, so makes sense to make good wharf here. <laughs> At least it's a place you know will, will not be sunk. Uh, don't drown.
Well, at least you can make your own uh, sugar cane foam easier now with all the sand. Uh, yeah, though I think we already have plenty of it on the shore. Still, more is always better. Since, yeah, <clears throat> a lot of stuff you can just use for trading as well. Yep, and it probably easier to organize a nice uh, sugarcane farm with plenty of sand. Uh, let's see. Uh, we still have some 20 minutes to go. Um, This one needs to go as well. These two. I, I like that they mark them out and they don't just say you can't build here. Yeah. For that will just be painfully annoying. Sneeze. Uh, oh, and Lord. I forgot you had a golden chest plate. And Wait, did you leave behind in a nearby tower a lot of armor? Uh, yeah, we left some stuff behind in one of the dungeon towers, I think. But we can go back for that eventually. We have we have spare armor already, if I remember correctly. Uh, there's yeah, helmet and boots, chest piece. <clears throat> Yeah, we probably should investigate to see what the armor does to see which armor to use for. This one at least should be good for now. Yeah. Even though it's a golden armor. <laughs> okay, so shady roots also hurts. And this hemp is taking a long time to grow. In a whole little ground lives a helium. Okay, yeah, we're going to need new chests already. Oh, and I should make a new shovel. <clears throat> uh, yeah, mine colonies can be quite difficult to start up but once you have it going with the, it producing its own resources and such and its own builders then things can speed up quite well let's see do we already have oh, is that, are they self-sufficient in building or do they only build when you tell them to uh, when you tell all right that's good for always yeah it's some like something that could go uh, well yeah, out of hand quickly. Okay. We can finish digging this out, put down the supply ship, and yeah, see what we do with whatever time we have left then. Uh, yeah, a bit, uh, a bit annoying that this <clears throat> that Corfell server was down, but yeah, we got we got to start with this going instead. And yeah, I was thinking about possibly starting up something like this eventually, anyways. Yeah, like I, I like the idea of you having and also playing with others on the Minecraft server, but. Yeah, yeah people it... actually have to be around and such, and, you know, time zones and such. Yeah. And plus, if... Uh, there you if, go. <clears throat> you can run all the mods as a multiplayer map as well. Not from a single player one, I believe. But it can still be used to set one up. So maybe at some point we could turn this into multiplayer. <laughs> No, that be impressive. Be everything done. So let's just grab all of the junk. We want the gravel 
for Tinker's Construct. And I don't think it'll have remembered where it was placed. Yep. So let's try and get it into the place that we have before. Okay, out of place there. Put it further back. Not enough as well. Still leaving those those smoke stacks behind after. See, turn you around, move you this way. Let's push you back. Now, is there anything within the borders? It doesn't look like it. Just to be safe, move it one aside. There we go. Welcome to Mine Colonies. Now that you have your supplies, how about searching a nice location to place your town hall to create your colony? Okay. And I believe that my, that should have claimed the area around here for one colony. And can we even get on board of this thing? <laughs> I wonder of that. Ah, there's your opening here. We probably should have turned this thing around. <laughs> oh well. Well, we can make a dock over to it. Yeah. Oh, there be party tonight. Yeah. There's a door here as well. Okay. Town hall and a build set, a build tool, not build scepter, some basic tools, <laughs> otherly basic wooden ones. And, yeah, then we have the deck, if, if we can get on top of it without falling off. Uh, let me actually take a quick... Okay, I thought with the stuttering every now and then that the frame rate of the stream might be suffering a bit, but I, I don't see any red text on the stats, so that's good. Oh, these are cannons! <laughs> Not that they actually do anything, but yeah. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Actually, we could probably build out a colony from here, like out this way. But hmm. yeah, I'll need to double check how ground claiming works with this and all. Like either either the ground around here is now claimed. Or we can, it will be claimed around where we put down the town hall. It could be both. Hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely need to double check on that. Uh, for now, though, hmm. the town hall will be, have to build I ourselves, just hope I think. We... I just hope we can beat it underground for... Yeah. It would be cool. Let's go see about that right now, then. And, uh... Yeah, we still have time. Yeah, we started five minutes late. I need to go make a shield. Because that is one of the best ways to deal with these freaking skeletons. Wall. Thanks so much for strafing. Okay. Ow. I didn't think I'd get hit by the creeper. Uh, you did there. so the uh, the creeper won't blow up stuff anymore, right? Yep. Thank goodness. Uh, let's see. Town hall. Uh, 
I should probably start putting these around other place, and that was a lucky shot that it missed. <laughs> or rather, a, a, a lucky shot for us, unlucky for them. <laughs> the area is still that they, everything can spawn. Yeah, we probably That's can it. make prettier ones later. I'm out of, I can't sprint anymore. Okay, this is at least a forward base that's lit up. That should mean that it'll be safer. Because I'm safer, not safe. Uh, how, how did it look like for you to place down the thingy? Yeah, I could I could use the build tool down there, but I don't know if that actually means if I can build there or not. Ah. So yeah, like I said, I need to go look up some things about mine colonies again. But for now, let's just get back out. Uh, we could maybe build some basic stuff at the top here, like farms and such. Other than that, yeah, I'll have to... We could maybe build a, a stair a way down, a staircase down or something. Like a circular uh, stair. Yeah, that would be a good idea. And yeah, okay. here we could have farms, and down below we could have... Uh, well, mining and such. There we go. Eating one of those hearts fills us up almost completely, or completely, I think. And yeah, if if we can build downstairs, we can we can dig out the the hills here. <clears throat> yeah, or yeah but it's smaller hills, like them. here. Yeah, not towards there. Yeah. Yeah, that that, that we want to keep. And um, yeah, we'll still have to go find some villages to actually get the waystones, because I think making them is quite expensive. So, uh, let's have a look. Waystone, yeah, waystone needs a warp stone, which is made with emeralds and ender pearls. Well, we have an emerald. We don't have any ender pearls though. And I should eat something that actually allows us to run again. And actually, let's turn... It's gonna... well, they yeah. would be common in the nether. True. And we know how to deal with them in general. Just build a low area that they can't reach you. For now, though, I think we need to expand this house a little bit. <laughs> yeah, we... Yeah, we'll just probably mostly use this for it, storage at the moment. Yeah, I was thinking of maybe some sort of easier workshop and storage. Let's see. At least we have some areas we can put windows on. Huh. Oh. Huh. Okay, what are you planning? Uh, we can't dig too far back because there's the back of the hill that way. So I'm thinking we dig a bit towards there, put down some more chests, and also dig down. Or maybe we could just have ladders for that. For to add extra layers. Hi, Gavin. But you can yeah. dig more towards uh, the area you dug through earlier. True. But it, it is a rather long hmm. yeah I think I'll oh. okay for a moment I thought that was just an open gap but no I think for just simple storage I'll just go with multi-layered at the moment <laughs> yes what now, if Gavin? Want, if you want a barrel cup of sugar, you can just ask. 
Also, because this is starting to be the, feel a bit claustrophobic. The game is running a world save. I have a bloody shovel. There we go. So, yeah, we can put down some more chests around, have a lower area uh, where we can put down our smithing and such. But yeah, I'll work on that on my own time, if I don't get distracted with other things like Graveyard Keeper and such. But, yeah. Yeah, be, I wouldn't mind uh, to watch you when you play this off, uh, off stream as well. Yeah, I, I can use some instructions on how to design stuff as well. And okay, we can build quite a bit back further still. <laughs> okay, so I was wrong on that. Still, we got our supply ship, we got a basic farm going, and we uh, have a visitor. Uh, yeah, these wild and don't burn uh, in the sunlight. Wait. That looks for me. Woo! Yeah, these are the ones that summon the dogs. What the heck? What the heck did he drop? Uh, Walden Horn. Oh, it's a whole one, alright. Doesn't say if it's a horn from them or just a horn they use to summon the dogs. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, we've got bees over there. I've completely missed those up until now. Um, yeah, I might off screen as well go look for some more animals and start breeding them. Just so <clears throat> uh, we have more of their supplies and such. And, uh,. Yeah, overall, I think we made a lot more progress in this than in the, like the first three streams on the Corvel server. <laughs> nothing, at, nothing toward, you know, nothing meant towards them. It just, uh, yeah, I know mods a lot better than basic Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, mods definitely make things more exciting and easier. Like, I, I find the arc more fun. Wheat mods, for example. All right. So, yeah, next time we can also go exploring in more different ways, like what the hell is up with the spires and such. Uh, we can build on the colony, see if we can, the... if we're now limited to uh, this area. I saw something. Hmm? Uh, 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 get back on the hill. Uh, do you see what they see over there? Uh, what direction? What corner? What is of the that? Screen? That's you're... a slime island, Dracula head. Yeah, you just at the cross to, uh, cross area. You pointed at it. That's a slime island in the sky. Yep. And the slime islands are useful because okay. slimes keep spawning from it, and slime is a very useful material for Tinker's construct. I think Tinker's actually adds that uh, adds them as well. And I'll probably look at adding some more mods to this pack because there's also a Tinker's mod for armor. And I haven't actually said what Tinker's does. It, it allows you to make customizable weapons and tools. Where you can... Uh, I could make a part builder to show, I think. Uh, basically, you can... Yeah, you can make different parts for weapons, like the, the with a sword, you have the cross handle, you have the handle, and you have the blade. You can make each of those out of a different material. So, for example, you could have a metal blade, a stone uh, cross guard, and a wooden handle. And each part would have different stats, like durability, damage, etc. It can be very fun to work with. Oh, I think, I think you've seen something like that before. But this sounds like a more updated version. That sounds exciting to make your own weapons and armor. Yeah. A more personalized, even. This is 
you know, the version of Minecraft that this is currently running on is 1.18.2. So I'll have to see if, uh, if there are compatible versions of the mods for this version. For now, uh, yeah, this was fun. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, I, I almost mm. wanted to go for one mm. hour longer, but uh, I know. Uh, yeah, uh, I do have work tomorrow, but it'll be a late shift. But yeah, still best to not wear things out too much. And yeah, for anyone curious, yeah. this is the mod list that is, well, in all the mod seven. As you can see, this goes down a long ass way. <laughs> But yeah, that mean that also means that there is plenty of stuff for you to well learn about and figure out as well. But for now, uh, let's see if this button now works on the stream deck. <laughs>